Hi, Ken Roller here from FreshAndAlive.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make my kidney liver flush. Uh, this is a drink that I do, it's a juice that I make when I'm doing cleansing, do a, specifically doing a kidney bladder cleanse and a liver gallbladder parasite cleanse. And what this juice consists of is apple juice predominantly with some lemon and lime juice and then a little bit of garlic and ginger and a little bit of olive oil. And what that does is it creates a drink that's very high in malic acid from the apples and very high in citric acid from the lemons and limes. And when you drink that and you drink a good sized quantity, about 24 ounces at a time or more, usually actually I drink about 32 ounces, um, you drink it in quantities every day when you're cleansing and what that'll do is that will go through your kidneys and these acids will dissolve stones and with the fat from the olive oil mixed into it, the, the liver will try to metabolize it and it will help clean out liver and gallstones. And a lot of liver cleanses and gallbladder cleanses, they are uh, very stressful to the body and they can be dangerous because they'll uh, you typically have you ingest something with a lot of olive oil or some kind of oil that will make the gallbladder spasm and eject stones. Now the problem with that is, is that if you, if you uh, don't dissolve those stones and get them small, or if they're, you know, if they're large and you don't dissolve them and get them smaller, then they can get stuck in the body and cause major problems and uh, even require you to go get surgery to have them removed. And so uh, and it can even be life threatening. So doing these, these kidney bladder, or excuse me, these, these uh, liver gallbladder cleanses where you're drinking a lot of oil to spasm that gallbladder and get those stones ejected is not the way to go. The way to go is to drink these natural juices that are high in acid that will dissolve those stones over a few weeks and then they just go away. And then if you do a liver cleanse like that or a gallbladder cleanse like that, you'll be ejecting very, very small stones if there's any left and so it's much, much safer. So this drink I do as a part of a whole herbal detoxing program that I do for kidney bladder and liver gallbladder and parasite. Now the garlic, uh, as I mentioned, we've got mostly apple juice, we've got some lemon lime juice, and then we've got garlic and ginger. The garlic and ginger are predominantly to keep parasites down while you're doing this flush because you're going to be doing this at least once a day in 24 to 32 ounces of juice and all of that sugar from that fruit juice will feed yeasts and parasites and molds and fungus and pathogenic bacteria in the body and if you're cleansing you don't want to do that especially when you're cleansing so the the garlic and the ginger will help kill those parasites off and keep them down so that you don't get an overabundance of yeast while you're doing this. So this is not something that you want to do every day for a long period of time for enjoyment. This is something that you want to do to cleanse and flush the body out and then after you've done this cleansing then you can switch to green drinks that don't have all the sugar. But uh, this is really wonderful, phenomenal way of cleansing and it tastes good too. So first of all let me show you what we got here. We've got lemons and limes and uh, they are a little bit different. The mineral profile and nutrient profile on limes is a little different than lemons um, and so I use both. And then we've got Granny Smith green apples. You want to use green tart apples like Granny Smith apples or baking apples because the t more tart they are, the more malic acid they have and that malic acid is going to dissolve gallstones okay, and other stones as well. Uh, so for one person typically to make 24 to 32 ounces of juice, I use about six large uh, Granny Smith apples. Then we've got uh, garlic here and typically in this, for one person I'll use about three or four cloves of garlic and then about one and a half to two inches of ginger, uh, what's called a thumb of ginger, about the size of your thumb. Okay. Um, so we've got that and then we have olive oil. This is a nice first cold pressed organic olive oil. You don't want to be trying to cleanse your liver with pesticide laden cooked acidifying olive oil. So use raw, first cold pressed organic olive oil. This brand is Lesternel. It's L apostrophe E-S-T-O-R-N-E-L-L. -L. 
Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful brand. It's very expensive though, um, but it tastes wonderful because it, it's, they grow the olives mixed in with um, almond trees, so the pollens mix and gives it a really wonderful flavor. And then also we will add a little bit of stevia. This is an herbal sweetener. It's very, very sweet, but it doesn't feed parasites and yeasts and molds and all of those pathogens. And it actually will help heal the endocrine glands. So we use a little bit of stevia in here. That will sweeten the tartness of the lemons and limes. And uh, this juice just has a really wonderful flavor. Also the olive oil, it cuts the tartness as well. So when you mix all of this stuff out, what we're going to do is juice this stuff uh, except for the, the, uh, the garlic and then we'll put it into a blender and blend the garlic in there so it gets well blended. And, and also we'll blend the, uh, the uh, olive oil in there. Sounds weird but it actually tastes good and um, the olive oil also will help when you're blending the juice. It'll help keep it from getting too foamy. So let's start out first of all juicing apples and um, I'm going to run six apples through here. What, we'll give you the recipe at the end of this video, but basically it's two cups of apple juice, a half cup of, um, of lemon and lime juice. You can do about half and half. Today I've got like one lime and several lemons. I, I like to do about half and half of the lemons and limes. But a quarter cup, excuse me, a half cup of uh, lemon and lime juice, fresh squeezed, all of this fresh squeezed. And then um, I run the ginger through the juicer, so about an inch and a half, two inches of ginger through the juicer, and then uh, four tablespoons of olive oil, and then maybe six to eight drops of stevia to sweeten it. Okay, so first of all, let's juice up some apples. Okay, now I'm done juicing the apple juice, so I'm going to put two cups of that into the blender. Usually I make a double batch of this because I serve it to my wife as well. Um, but let me take this. This is four cups of apple juice. I'm just going to use two cups right now. Put that into the blender. That's about two cups. Stick that over there. And I'm going to juice the ginger. And let me put the, oop, I guess I ought to. Put a cup under here. Okay, I'm going to juice the ginger and I'm just going to break it up and run it through the juicer. You can run this, you can run apple, uh, some apple after this if you want to kind of wash all of the ginger through. Um, so just snap it off, throw it in, run it through, and get some ginger juice. And again, it works better to run some apple after the ginger because it kind of flushes the ginger through. Okay. So let me take that and put the ginger juice in there. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, and now we're going to juice the lemons and limes. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the garlic into the blender. So with two cups, I would use about three or four cloves of garlic and uh, yes that is very garlicky but that's what you want. You want the garlic to really knock those parasites back and that candida and yeast back so uh, three or four cloves of garlic in there and then I'm going to move this juicer out of the way and start using the citrus juicer. Now when I do when I do this uh, usually I'm just showing you the citrus juicer uh, because this is one way you can do it. Usually what I'll do is I'll just peel these lemons and limes, cut them in half, and run them through that juicer. So I don't usually use a separate citrus juicer, but if I'm doing a large quantity of this stuff, if I've got a group of people, then I will use one of these. So anyway, this is a Breville uh, citrus press. Uh, it works really well. I really love this for citrus. And all you do is shove it in and it, and look at that, it really, if you can zoom in on that, it really, really cleans out the uh, lemon and juices it really fast. So it's a really nice citrus juicer. I really love this thing. Works really well for workshops or retreats or any time when I've got a lot of juicing to do, a lot of citrus juicing to do. This thing works really good. 
Okay. So I'm going to use a half cup. I'm going to use a half cup of uh, lemons and limes. I'm getting my limes going on here. Okay. There we go. You can see it's pretty quick. So that's uh, about a half cup of uh, lemon and lime juice. I'm going to go ahead and close that up and I'll pour that in. So half cup lemon lime juice, two cups of apple juice, um, ginger juice, and then three or four cloves of garlic. And then let me get a tablespoon and I'm going to put four tablespoons of olive oil in there. One, two, three, four, okay? You don't have to be precise. You don't need 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power measurements here, okay? Throw the stuff in. If you get a little bit of excess of something, no big deal. Move this blender over a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna add about eight drops of stevia. Usually with this quantity, it takes about six to 10 drops, depending on your taste. Okay, so there's eight drops of stevia. And then let me get my blender lid and we'll blend it up. Put it on low, turn it on. Okay. And the garlic gets all blended up. The ginger, everything is in there. The, uh, the, um, the oil gets emulsified really well. And so when you ingest this, like I say, it goes through the kidneys, it'll dissolve those stones. And then the liver and gallbladder will try to metabolize that fat and also get the acid, and get that malic acid especially, and dissolve uh, gallbladder stones. And uh, it just works really, really well. This is a, an easy, gentle way to remove stones from the body uh, while you're doing detoxing. Now, I don't recommend doing this as a daily drink just because um, there's a lot of sugar in this. So I do this for three weeks while I'm doing kidney bladder cleansing and liver gallbladder parasite cleansing, and then I get done with it, and then I move on to um, doing green drinks instead of this. And when I say green drinks, I mean greens in a base of cucumber and celery, okay? So anyway, let's have a little taste of this. It actually tastes really good. Mm, it's a wonderful, it's tart, but it's creamy. You can taste the ginger. Everyone I've served this to when we do cleanses, they're very surprised at how tasty it is because it sounds weird. It's like olive oil and fruit. you got to be kidding me. But this actually is uh, one of the easier things to do when you're cleansing. I also like to do herbal teas and herbal extracts and a whole bunch of other supplements for detoxification and for nutrifying the body. But this is what I use for doing kidney cleansing and, and liver gallbladder cleansing along with herbs and other things. So anyway, there's my recipe. Check it out and thanks for watching.